Did you feel that secondary depression and anxiety when you were constantly Googling things and like, what do I do next? Like, yeah, well, I've always been a very anxious person, which I think feeds into a bit of the type had personality a bit. Mm. So when something like this happens, it definitely heightens my anxiety. And yeah, it's the depression definitely kind of resulted from the fatigue, but I never really kind of experienced that type of depression before. It was very secondary in terms of it was created by this, but yeah. The anxiety was the amount of times I'd spiral, like my mind would spiral out of control because, you know, I'd be thinking, shit, I'm never getting better. And like, what is the point at this point? <laughs> you know, when you get that monologuing, spiraling self-talk, it is really hard to get out of that, to kind of dig yourself out of that. If you can find that kind of strength within you, it's very intrinsic, that strength. It's not going to come from any external sources, but it's really like if you can find that, you look back, you know, once you recovered and it's kind of like you couldn't be prouder of yourself because you know that you've been to those kind of depths before and you've dragged yourself out of that. So that's, you yeah. know, that was something I look back on and really kind of admire about myself now. I had a few things that really helped me in those times. I found that allowing yourself to kind of embrace the sadness was mm -hmm. really helpful naturally i'm quite a pessimist that was one of the things that i think i've really changed always putting a positive spin on things mm. like i've actually noticed it kind of subconsciously that i have been really looking at things really positive like i tested positive on christmas day for covid last year obviously i can mope and whine about it but you know i kind of twisted that into thinking okay well if i can get through this i've really kind of jumped that next hurdle of because i was always really worried about getting sick again with COVID. the flu yeah exactly. something like that totally but you know i turned that into a positive and kind of okay i really dealt with that really well anyway that's beside the point but yeah the acceptance was really hard initially and it takes time and it's something that just kind of you can't work on it by just trying to focus on it like it's something that kind of just happens over time that's what I found anyway so yeah like you said I was really kind of trying to get back to my old self and like with my mental health over the years I found exercise a great outlet mm. whether that be gym running footy whatever and the fact that I couldn't do it was really really hard and that was probably one of the hardest things I found and knowing that getting back to exercise wouldn't look like it used to was really hard it's a very long way back in terms of building up your aerobic base and lifting weight again like I remember starting the exercise program in your program with Steph and you know that initially looked like me trying to bench press a pillow and doing that it's like really kind of demoralizing and yeah I vaguely remember talking to you I think you reached out on a coaching call and you were just yeah. like you know this is embarrassing I used to be able to bench press whatever you know let's say 60 yeah. 80 kilos or whatever and it's like now I'm lifting a pillow and I think I just yeah. said to you, yeah, you're doing that now so you can go and do the bench press later. Like you've just got to start yeah. now and it's all about consistency over an intensity. And everyone's yeah. different. You're coming from a sporty background. So understandably, this is a big deal for you. Whereas other members, you know, sport isn't their number one thing. So it's like, yeah, I just want to be functionally healthy and strong mm -hmm. so I can function and integrate yeah. back into life. But for you, that's such an interesting turning point. But I felt like it clicked probably three months in when... And I don't know if you watched the acceptance video or I don't know if it was yeah. a combination of trainings that helped you go, all right, I'm going to stop focusing on the past and just focus yeah. on what I can control. Bang on. It was definitely that. Watching that acceptance video and just kind of really listening to a lot of podcasts. You can't control what's going to happen tomorrow, but if you just keep chipping away, you'll get rewarded. That's what you also say as well. Like you just kind of got to trust yourself. Like, motivation will wane and you know it will go as well but like if you can kind of find it within you to keep that consistency and like you say consistency is key and that's exactly what's been the pillar of me getting back to where I am now 100% and you know I have that saying hit singles every single day forget about home runs 